Hey there, people. What started off to be a questionable morning turned out to be a good afternoon. But we're all done here, so let's go home. Alrighty, guys. Um, figured I'm going to do a drive home. There's something I want to talk about. Today on my drive to work, I hear on the radio that uh, police are investigating this whole pedophile bullshit in town. Apparently there's been kids be at school, and what it is is our local high schools right now, right? It's not grade 9 to grade 12. It's been reduced, so now it's 7 to 12. So grade 7 to grade 12 are all going to the same school. And apparently... There was a 12-year-old girl sharing nude pics of herself, texting them out to people. And this shit was getting passed around the school. So this brings one of my concerns up that I've talked about in the past that I'm going to reiterate again. And that's about Facebook's policy and cell phone policies in general. You know, I personally don't think it's okay for a child under the age of 16 to own a cell phone because there's too much they can do with it and they don't know better. Now, maybe that falls on the parent. Maybe that falls on the schooling education system. I don't know. Kids nowadays versus kids when we were young, two different breeds of kids, you know? Nowadays, the kids are being brought up on the Twitters and the Instagrams and fucking selfies and all this technology you don't see kids out playing in parks anymore i drive so by so many parks during the day and i don't see a single fucking kid playing on it except for the ones on school grounds during recess kids are more adept nowadays to sit at home and sit on the couch in front of the tv with a cell phone in their hand just fucking slapping the shit out of the screen well like when i was a kid you know we got up we went outside we played you know, we, we fucking used the, the only computer we had at the time, our imagination. That was the only form of entertainment we had when our parents wouldn't let us sit in the house and watch television. Because they wanted us to go outside and do shit. So, to me, this whole nonsense could easily have been avoided if... Don't get your kids a cell phone until they're 16, you know? 13-year-olds should need a cell phone. I don't understand why a 13-year-old would need a cell phone. I can understand the parents saying, well, you know what? Maybe if you're out at a friend's house, it'd be nice if you had a way to contact us. So you get them like a burner phone, you know, one of those uh, phones you buy at the local corner store, the $100 jobby that has like 100 minutes on it or whatever. A burner. They get called burners because drug lords use them apparently. Um, But yeah, so you get like a prepaid option. Pay as you go, if you will and run that but like getting a 13 year old an iphone with a better freaking camera on it than most of the shitty video cams out in the market you know kids don't know better kids don't realize what they're doing and especially with the fact that at high schools around here they've all they've they've closed a lot of secondary or junior high schools as we used to call them Basically, it was just a grade 7, grade 8 school. So, now you got these, like, young grade 7s merged in with older grade 12s. Some of the older grade 12s, they're into that young shit, right? Because they're, whatever, they're fucking sick and twisted, whatever your reasoning may be. There's an old beetle for you. Holy shit, I haven't seen one of those before. Well, I've seen them, but I haven't seen one that, uh, that actually looked that good of shape. Which is weird to say because it didn't look that awesome, but it was pretty good. Anyway, back on the topic. Um, Facebook itself. Honestly, I think they should reinforce the policy of after they released it to the general public. Because remember, Facebook, when it originally started, was intended for ages uh, 18 up, but required you to have a student ID and a student number from an educational facility, like a college, a university, so forth, uh, so on and so forth. Then they branched out to overseas universities, and then all of a sudden they decided, fuck it, you don't need that anymore, all you need is an email address and a password, and congratulations, you got yourself a Facebook account, you know? Way to go, Team U. Well, 
then they released the age restriction on it. And that was the worst thing Facebook ever did. They should have left it where you have to be 18 years of age to connect to a Facebook and make a Facebook account. Because the amount of stories I'm hearing in town about, um, well, they're calling them pedophiles. And you know what? That's right. It's, it's damn right. About girls being groomed or, or being stalked on Facebook by older men. It's like, you know how you stop this? It's not, it's simple. It's a fucking simple way to stop this. And I know a lot of you are going to disagree with me. But the easiest way to stop this is you don't let young girls on Facebook. You don't let young boys on Facebook. You keep them the fuck off of there. Social networking is not something they need to get involved in right yet if they're that young. If you're under, eight, maybe 16 is a better age, I'd say. But not a fucking 10-year-old and an 11-year-old, 12-year-olds and all that shit. You know, these are kids that are just learning how to play. Let the fucking kids play. They don't need to go on Facebook and Twitter and all this shit and chat with celebrities and so on and so forth. And nice roadblock. Chevy Silverado fucks up everyone's day. Well, except for that guy who just managed to weasel by, but... So yeah, like, and I already know a lot of you are going to say, well, no, the problem is, is dirty men. Like, they need to stop hitting on little girls and stuff. And it's like, well, yeah, that's definitely an issue. But, you know, stalkers are always going to find a way to stalk their prey. Like, a, a pedophile is always going to find a way to stalk children. And putting your kids on Facebook, well, fuck, that's a super easy way, especially if you're Facebook noob and you don't know how to lock down a profile. Like, Facebook's got enough privacy settings on it where you can have it set that the person's fucking Facebook profile picture shows up as that little blue guy, you know, the blue Facebook guy. It doesn't even show up as their real picture unless you're a friend, unless you're on that person's Facebook. And you can lock down the friend request thing to the point where only friends of friends can send out Facebook messages or uh, Facebook friend requests. Like, like, you can lock down your profile so fucking hardcore on Facebook to the point that nobody can get access to your shit. But, like, I've seen people where they got their kids on there, and this is like my friends, for instance, they got their kids on there, and their kids' profile, you don't even need to be their friend. You can go in, you can look at every fucking picture they have on there. You can look at every, uh, you can look at everything on there. Their, their Facebook profile pictures, their, they, their phone numbers, their, their address, because they're stupid and they fill that out. You know, the kids are filling this out because they don't know better. They don't realize that anybody is able to view their profile. I shouldn't say they're stupid. They're just mil misinformed and not educated in the Facebook way. They're not exactly stupid. They just don't know because nobody showed them. And this is why I think... Because the, the the day and age is going of social media, maybe there needs to be a class on social media, protecting yourself in the digital world. Maybe that should be a college course or a high school, something they teach in high school now, because let's face it, social media used to be something you did because it was fun. Nowadays, it's a way to create business for yourself, like if you're running a company. Social media is the way to go because you can branch out and link to people and really push your brand out there and really promote it, right? But people need to be educated. People need to know. The internet is not a safe place. It's fucking dangerous. And if you don't play your cards right, well, you're going to get fucking folded in half. And that's never a good time. And Well, trust me, it's never a good time. I showed my buddy how to lock down his, uh, his kid's friggin' Facebook and... Told them to pass on the knowledge. Like, we got to protect people here. The digital world and it's digitally fucking insane. So, lock her down and don't fuck around. But, uh, I'm almost home. I have the worst case of acid reflux right now. I really got to do something about this when I get home. Thank God I have Tums. Plan on downing half a bottle. So uh, once we get home, I'll talk to you more then.
Holy shit, a couple more days like this and uh, I'll be able to mow my lawn. Anyway, we better let Scruffy Poopy Poopy Whoopy out. Did you miss me? Did you miss me, Poopy? Oh, you want to go tight? Okay. Hey, stay in the yard though. Because you're not on leash, doesn't you get free roam. Hey, maybe we'll play with the ball. Go get it. There you go. Om yum 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 yum. Come on, are you? And go poop? Yeah. <laughs> do the swirly birds and <laughs> pinch one off. So, uh, I still haven't received my adapter for my camera. I'm gonna have to go check the Amazon post and see what the fuck is going on because that should have been here. And it's not here yet, so that's kind of pissing me off. I also need to see if I can fire up that tractor. I gotta put a charge to the battery. Should grab my solar panel out of the garage. You can see it right there, just glowing away. Well, you probably can't, but it's in the window. And hook her up. Jesus, Murphy Oreo. Hey, get your ball. Oreo. Get the ball. Get the ball. It's right there. You Sometimes I swear your peepers don't work. I don't know if you can see the orange ball. I heard dogs can only see blue as a color. But... That could be wrong. <laughs> He's been waiting for this. He loves playing fetch. And no, people, I never taught him how to do this. Just one day I was out, uh, it was in the winter, and I was shoveling snow, and I threw a piece of ice out in the yard, and... All right, are you done? Come on, buddy. Give me the ball. Let's go in the house. No, Oreo. Hey. Come on. Come on. <laughs> You're obviously done. You're trying to hide the ball on me. When you do that, that means you quit. Right? That, that means you quit, right? Go get a drink of water. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it was the first year when we had them in the winter. I was clearing some ice off of the sidewalk and I threw a chunk with my shovel and he just ran out and grabbed it and brought it back to me. And I was like, what? Why did he do that? So then I went to the buck store and I bought some tennis balls. Because they had the small puppy size ones for uh, little dogs. Bought some of them and when spring hit we actually had grass. I was like, let's see what he makes of this. So I showed him the ball and he liked it. and Chewed on it for a bit and I said, can I have And he gave it to me and I just pitched it out in the backyard. And a little fucker went after it, grabbed it and brought it back. And ever since then, like, people ask me, how'd you teach your dog to play fetch? I'm like, I didn't. Came preloaded with that ability. It's pretty cool. Yeah, the big stretch. Well, I just finished uh, doing something that I haven't done in a while. And I haven't done it since Saturday, and that's play video games. <laughs> just haven't had time or had the energy to play video games, and I decided, frig it. I wanted to play some Stardew Valley tonight, so I did. But Dad contacted me uh, when I got home from work. He uh, called me up to talk about the living room. <clears throat> that was shit. And he uh, just wanted to let me know that I don't need to take the couch out of there and I don't need to take the television out of there or the entertainment stand. I gotta put you guys down. I'm trying to hook the dog up. Basically, what we're gonna do on Saturday is, uh, well, this shit's gonna have to move. This chair, I gotta take it out of here. This table, I gotta take it out of here. All this shit over here has gotta go because it's in the way. So that's not a big deal. It's warm enough now to put the battery pack out in the garage. This table's gotta go for the couch. Dad's got a huge ass tarp, we're just gonna tarp it. Put it in the center of the room, whatever, tarp it. That, well, we're gonna move it around. Just gonna move it around the house, get it out of the way. Shouldn't be a big deal. Um, all that shit in the corner, probably gotta go. What the fuck is he barking at? Or go potty. Bring it dum dum. So what I was thinking about doing tonight was collapsing this table. And I was going to basically take the legs off and fire it up against the wall. And then drag my chair out of the living room and put it in here. Either tonight, or I might do it tomorrow night. You know what, I don't really feel like doing it tonight and it's almost 8 o'clock. i got to get some food in me and get to bed early because 5 a.m. comes quick. I might set my alarm for 5.30 tomorrow get up a little earlier. 
because uh, all I want to do is eat some food and go to bed. So, thinking tonight, it's going to be a Swanson, a Swanson night. That's right. We're going to have some meatloaf. That looks fucking gross. Let's go ahead and nuke it. Doesn't that look nasty? We got mashed potatoes, a brownie, some beans, and a lump of shit. Okay, let's drive it in the nuker for six minutes and if I can get dinner going. There we go. Danny Hoozle. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get this all said and did. Probably tomorrow night. When I get home from work, we'll just tackle it right away. Uh, all I was doing tonight, I want to get some more episodes of Stardew Valley done. And I want to start doing some more episodes of other things. Thinking... Friday or Saturday, depending on how shit goes. You coming? Come on, dude. Oh, you're so dumb dumb. You got stuck again because you went the wrong way. When he waddles by the Trans Am, his leash gets caught on the corner of the step there. And then when he comes in the house, he gets stuck and he can't come in the house. Stupid puppy. Actually, while I was uh, dicking around upstairs, I heard my mailbox open and close, so I wonder if the mail carrier just came late today. That's something else that burns my dick, is um, I just finished paying off my hydro and my gas bill and uh, stay. My hydro, my gas bill, and my internet. Only to find out that uh, I thought I heard my mailbox go off. It's fuck all in there. But uh, I was hoping for the my adapter for this camera, but anyway. So I'm paying $145 a month for electricity. We call it hydro because the company in town is like, like, like the, the company that raises the price, the crown company is called Hydro One, you know? And then we got Northern Hydro and all the different hydro companies and, you know, so like the wind government, the liberals are all pissed off because Due to the mild winter, they didn't make the planned income they were thinking they were going to make. So because of that, they have to up the rates on hydro because they went and spent money that they projected to have, but don't have. And now they're all butthurt, so what do they do? Fucking raise the rates. It's bullshit. This is where the old... There was a term made a while back called... Don't count your eggs until they're laid or hatched or some shit like that. Or no, don't count your chickens until they've hatched. You know, and the whole thing about that was, you know, if you're, sell if you're a chicken farmer and you sell chickens, well, you don't fucking say, well, I got 35 eggs over there in incubators, I'll have 35 chickens for you. Because for all you know, 15 of those eggs could just become breakfast because they're fucked. So, leave it to a government entity to go, Oh, well, we're projected to make $3.2 billion this year off of uh, Hydro alone. So let's spend $3.2 billion. And then all of a sudden they realize, oh, fuck, we only made $2 billion on Hydro. Oh, no, we didn't, oh, yeah, we made $2 billion on Hydro. We lost $1.2 billion. Like, they lost it. First off, they never had it, so you can't lose it. Second off... Of course you're not going to make the money. Everybody's switching over to LED bulbs and energy efficient everything. You know, LCD TVs from CRTs. Anybody running into CRT still, you're stupid because it's expensive to run those. They fucking consume energy like a bitch versus a, a flat panel CRT. So you might want to get rid of that thing and kind of upgrade yourself and you'll save money in the long run. So now they want to up it another two cents a kilowatt, which doesn't sound too bad except for the fact that we're already paying 11 cents a kilowatt off peak hours, 19 cent peak hours. So now it's going to be 13 cents off peak and 21 cents peak. Doesn't sound like much, but it adds up. So I'm expecting my bill to go up by probably another five, ten bucks. It'll be about $155 a month now for hydro. And you do the math here in town alone, like there's 54,000 people in town. We'll divide that up. We'll just say every household has about three people in it. You know what? Fuck it. We'll make the math easier. We'll say five people in it. Because <laughs> I just don't feel like doing math today. So, that's about what? 
we'll say 12,000 people, just for shits and giggles. We'll say 12,000 homes producing hydro in North Bay, or consuming hydro. If everybody's bill goes up by $10, that's $120,000 this town has just generated by a two-cent increase. That's only this town now. This town's small. You know, then you got places like Toronto. You know, Toronto, it's 4.5 million people. It's got a lot of, uh, a lot more families than North Bay, you know. Uh, a lot more people, a lot more single people living in condos and apartments and shit. In London, Sudbury, Sudbury's bigger than North Bay. So you can imagine that in a couple months, they're going to make their money. Unless us, the citizens, rebel and stop using so much power. Then they won't make that money. But in their eyes, they've lost money again. See the problem? See, the, this is what's fucked, is even in the report, when they were talking about this, dinner's ready, they are talking about it, they are like, they explained it as, we didn't get the money that we expected and we already spent it, so it's required that we raise the bills or otherwise we're going to have an issue. Making it feel like it's our fault as the consumer that they didn't, or that, that they lost this money. It's our fault. It's our we're to blame, because we went out and bought LED bulbs and and you know we we turn the lights off when we're done in the bathroom and we don't watch our TV and leave it on twenty four seven and you know we're doing our best to try and keep the bills down because for fuck's sakes there's no good jobs out there and you gotta basically bust your ass just to make your fucking monthly light bill, right? Right. So it's our fault. It's our fault. It's our fault that the government went and spent money they didn't have, and then when it was time to collect, they didn't get it. And now they're in shit with whoever they spent the money with. It's so fucked up. And, yeah. That win government, the liberals, they gotta get the fuck out. They're breaking too many rules. Like, any regular citizen would have been, would have been in jail with all the rules she's broken. All the lies she's told. It doesn't make a fucking lick of sense. Gotta love being a politician, eh? You can dodge prison all you want. Fucking arseholes, I tell ya. But anyway, people, my dinner's ready. I'm gonna go drive this in my face. Like I said, tomorrow night, we're gonna worry about all this. Get this all straightened out. Luckily, that weight bench folds up. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these tiles. I'm probably gonna have to get them out of here anyway. Ah, fuck, I'll just leave them there. We'll bring the vacuums out to the garage. Well, this end table can get out of here. I'm going to clean all the shit off of it. Uh, that table can get out of here. Clean all the shit off of it. Chair's going to come out. That's going to come out. It'll be easy peasy. That's going to go in the utility closet. And uh, vacuum can go in there too. So right on, right on. But anyway, people, I'm going to shut the vlog down here. Get this all edited up and banged up to YouTube for you guys. So it's ready to be viewed tomorrow. Let me know what you think about this whole utilities. And like I talked about earlier, Facebook. And social media should be probably taught in school so kids know better than be idiots on there. Because honestly, I see some shit some days. And it really makes me shake my fucking head that their parents let them do this stuff. Because they're probably not monitoring the accounts. But whatever, whatever the reason is. Kids need to learn about social media and how to protect themselves on the internet. In my mind, it'd be a good, in, a good investment for schools to start teaching that. Who knows, maybe the kids would be really interested in, in knowing it. But, uh, and also I think that the, uh, Wynn government, that, uh, fucking Kathleen Wynn, Captain Liberal Pants for Ontario, well, she needs some fucking jail time, because she's breaking too many rules, she's being fucking stupid. Hey anyway, people, that's my vlog for today, so hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, put them down below. Tomorrow we'll get, clean up on the, uh, the room, getting ready. And this Saturday, Dad's gonna be here bright and early at 9 a.m., and we're going to get working, and we're going to get a lot done, and I'm going to videotape it. It's going to be fucking awesome. Hey, people. Thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and comment. Till next time, keep on vlogging. That is the most disgusting fucking thing I've ever seen in my life.